Hey YouTube, this is Ryan making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Um, this is a, another overview of a bushcraft item that most people don't usually talk about, and that's sail needles. These aren't all sail needles. I'll link the um where I buy them from off eBay down in the description bar these items are actually really cheap I get two packets of these for like two dollars and most of the bushcraft experts say you should be including some of these sail needles in each year kits and I fully agree they um they're such a useful item for it and for the cost of these needles I, I just couldn't understand why you wouldn't include them the classic sail needle if you see here this one It's a solid needle, quite a large needle, big eye, so you can thread thread quite a large thread through it, and this each kit comes with one of the sail needles. Well, I actually prefer this one. This is the straight upholstery needle, and um, it's a it's quite a large needle. It's a it's one of the biggest and more robust needles out of the whole kits. And um, I actually put in most of my kits now. I'll, I'll put the straight upholstery needle and the sail needle together, so I have those two. And the other one I like I like in this kit is the glover's needle it's it, it's a solid solid little needle really really tough these are all stainless steel needles so you have no rusting issues um they're just it's a solid little kit and they're like two dollars and when you order them i didn't realize when i first this is the kit i got originally I ordered it two dollars I thought I'd just get one lot but you actually get two cards so you get two lots of seven needles for two dollars thirty each for uh, two dollars thirty for two cards so you get 14 needles for two dollars brilliant value you get curved needles that's good for um, all sorts of things. Um, while I, I don't like going into the idea of suturing cuts and that sort of thing, well, you can do that in an emergency situation. In a shit hits the fan situation, you can be suturing for there. But also, like, stitching up things like these curved needles are good for st stitching up things that are problematic like stitching anything not just flesh or whatever but other things like whatever like cloth or whatever but curved needles are really good too so for that but you get a variety of needles and I've gone a little bit silly and went. I, I started to run out of them because I started adding them to kits. Because I, I, I was buying. I originally was buying a sail needles. For um. I think they were like a couple of dollars each, but then I got on. I found that you could buy them for, as I said, two dollars thirty for a packet of seven, and then when they turned up. 
there was actually for 14 of them. So anyway, I, um, I ended up, I wanted to make sure I didn't want to run out. So I ended up buying a heap of them. And I've got, now I've got enough to not run out for the foreseeable future. But I just wanted to do a little short video of this and and I'll, I'll link the description, I'll, I'll link the where I get them from off eBay in the description bar down the bottom. Just so you, if you want to, if you want to get onto them and buy your own, because um, I just, I just add them to all my kits because you'll find that you can use these for so many things. Just digging things out. Um, splinters, whatever, you know, like, that, for, apart from stitching things up and using them for any, for the, the normal things that you use a needle for, and the variety of needles that you get for this, and for the cost of them, for $2.30, and you get 14 needles, and they are so robust, like this, um, this straight, uh, the upholstery needle, it's a solid needle, eh? Like, if you have a look at it. It's a good, good sized needle. And I like the idea because it's got such a big eye. So you can good fit a good size piece of thread through there, you know? Like, so, yeah, it's, it's a good size needle. That's what I like about it. And it's a good, so, good solid needle. But anyway, yeah. The sack needle's a good one too. They're all, all, all good size needles and good solid, all different varieties, so yeah. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that, that I got onto these a, a little while ago. I posted them on ABF, Australian Blade Forums, about these, and I've done a, done a bit of a picture review of them there on there too, so. And I'll, I'll, I'll as I said, I'll link, link them on there and we'll go from there anyway thanks for watching